Surprise, we're live. It is early. It is. Oh, you guys just ran out awful quick. <laughs> it is 1034 a.m. And we got a lot of stuff to do today to get ready for the Christmasness. So we're going to do this real quick. Um, I already. Okay. Don't even start, mister. I already did a layer of glitter on this and it had set up and now we're doing there's a little bit of glitter in this layer. We're using countertop resin. Go lay down. Cujo. Hey, Debbie. Uh, we're using countertop resin because it sets faster and it's super durable. And then we're going to use a countertop method to do stuff. What are we doing? Well, Mike always does this. And I know uh, Mike over at Stone Coat and Rhonda over at RK3 loves this technique. Um, how it's supposed to go is you're supposed to spray your spray paint on. We're going to use gloss white, Bastillium. Spray it on, and then you take alcohol, put some mica powder in it, and spritz it over it. Hit it with some heat, and it's supposed to look amazing. I want to try to make this more of an icy, wintry look. So we're going with this. No idea what color it amazing is. Amazing blue. It looks like steel blue from um, yeah. just resin. And all it is just. 90 what is it 91 percent alcohol yeah yep. so let's this is you guys are riding along you know we do the test so you don't have to yay <laughs> morning you guys all right so do you just kind of lightly light mist so this is a countertop technique we're going to see if it works on a tumbler Morning. So a lot of times the countertoppers will have let their resin set up for a little while first. Ooh, it's gonna look awesome. But yeah, I wouldn't do too much. It's looking super fun. You think it's just gonna keep moving? I do think so. And you gotta hit it with some heat too. A lot of times the countertoppers will let this set for a little while before adding the spray paint and the heat. Because if it's too fresh, it's too thin and it won't hold these Should shapes. Should I spray more white? Like I feel like it's just lines. It is just lines, good. So when you do this, it's important to not use uh, flat. You need to use a gloss. And it helps if your sprayer doesn't work all the time. <laughs> I think that's good. Oh. It's breaking, it's moving. Let's hit it with some heat. The heat's over there. You wanna do a torch or? Uh, well, we don't want too much direct heat on this because it's gonna make everything shift and move and swirl. So you want just a little bit of heat. Winter Wonderland. See how it's moving a little yeah, bit? You can see it move when it when the heat stays on it. I feel like that blue we put in there is kind of gone. I know. Should we add a different blue? Mm, I don't know. I like that it's swirling like that. I bet if we use like a brown, it would look like wood. Yeah. So Man, this... look at this for a minute. Just keep looking at it. Okay. And then look down at that. Tell me that's not moving. It's moving. How creepy. <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's going to work on camera. So if you look at this for a minute and then look down... I don't know why. Oh my I, God, it's, it moves every time you, I don't think it'll work on camera, but in real person, 
I was like, wait a minute, what? Why am I tripping right now? I guess it's kind of like when you're on that the moving sidewalk and you get off and your legs are like, mm, I'm not going to work for a minute. Hey, Vamp. We have a Cricut. We can't get it to work, though. But Jeff has, like, a Cricut daddy. The Mac daddy of all, like, Cricut-y things. It's from U.S. Cutter. This is the brand and model, I guess. So, it's... 22 inches instead of the crickety size. So it cuts 22 inch vinyls. B, do you want to mix some darker color in here? Or are we good? I love that big chunky flake showing through. That is the halo chunky. Let me show you guys what that looks like. All of my dirty paints. Hey, Stephanie. So this is the glitter that we used on the under coat of this. It's chunky rainbowiness. And it's laying pretty smooth, even though we hit it with that 91% alcohol. I'm digging it. What do you guys think? Hey, Allie. Ooh, that looks fun. It looks like snowy woodness. I love the look. It's very rustic. Um, Allie, it's in route. It should be this coming week that I have the titanium back in stock. If anyone gets gifts from Erica 100%, you're getting a tumbler. Whatever. I haven't even made that many. What? Who's counting? This one turned out super cool. I just wanted to see what, um, if we could bring something cool to the resin world of tumblers. So far I'm happy with these. This is my favorite, can you tell? Can you tell? Maybe I drank some Kool-Aid out of a tumbler, I don't know. But I just wanted to see if we could do something interesting. And I feel like, I feel like we haven't done anything original yet, but we're gonna get there, you know? That's what I feel. So if you wanted to try this and wait like 30 minutes into the curing process and then hit it with the spray paint and the alcohol, those initial cells that popped up would stay better and they wouldn't swirl around and break up like this. However, I'm digging this. And I don't know if we were the first ones to bring countertop culture to tumblers, so I can't credit anyone. <laughs> but if we're the first, then cool. Oh, wow. It's getting very uniform now. It's uniform in a very sporadic way. It looks like whatever's in it would be cold. Yeah. Anyways, you guys, I'm about to jet off box over there, so to visit uh, Judy. That would be a beautiful countertop, right? Um, I'm taking the boys to see Grandma Judy. And, um, yeah, I don't know how long we'll be there, but 
So I don't know if we'll be back by our six o'clock time. So we're doing this real quick for you guys. Oh, it's Tuesday. I, for sure we wouldn't be back by two. So, so yeah. I will give Judy a hug for you. Um, G Vamp, you just adjusted my countertop plans. Hey, Christina with a K. Did I ever tell you that that's my sister's name also with a K? Anyways, I will give Judy a hug from all of you guys. Um, don't worry, we're being safe. And Jeff and I are taking a COVID rapid test tomorrow before we go visit his parents. Anyways, let me know if you guys try it. Tag us in your these in our poor group, ATD's poor people, and we'll see you guys next time. We got to get on the road. Jeff has to go cut some things. And I'm going to go see Mama J. We'll see you guys later. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. That's right. Hey, and we're going to start making shirts like that if you guys. Shirts <laughs> like what? We do the test so you don't have to. Right? Here's one of them. Maybe oh. it'll be a work shirt so you guys don't have to worry about getting them messy. But that's what I want all of our shirts to be. Though. Work shirts? Yeah, like our shirts were meant to be worked in. They're supposed to be used and painted and lived in. Gooey. gooey. Ew. Sticky. So you don't mess your regular clothes up like you always do. Everyone always messes up you know, their regular clothes. Everyone always just goes, well, I guess these will be my painting pants. Can we just have a shirt that says this is my resin shirt? Anyways, all the shirts are this is my resin shirt. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. I said bye.